Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's video is going to be going with the flow. And I got an email here from a client of mine that I've been coaching for, I guess, probably since late last year, probably about eight, eight nine months, I guess, I've been coaching him now. I mean, hell, maybe longer. <laughs> so he sent me this email, and he's got a couple of situations that he's asking me about. So he basically, he meets this girl at a concert, and I guess his group and her group of friends kind of emerged at some point. And she, listen to this, she says that she told him to text her later. And then he says, but I just told her if she wanted to meet up, she'd have to text me. That cocky little bastard. I wonder where he learned that from. The next night, she texted me to come out. Fortunately, I was already at the bar that she was coming to, so we hooked up there and went back to my place. She played the Not a Slut card, so the bedroom Olympics were, what I like to call the indoor Olympics, were limited to only a couple of events. Today, she's been grilling me hardcore, asking if I'm just hanging around with her just to get in her pants. I think I've been passing the test. I don't really know where she got these ideas in her head. My guess is her friend. Any thoughts? My second encounter of the weekend was with this redhead we spoke about a few months ago. We went on a few dates and I screwed the pooch by being too upfront. I saw her at a bar and we started talking briefly. We exchanged numbers again and partied for the night. Or I should say parted for the night. Do you think I should call her or just leave it be? Well, I want to address the second one first because that one's pretty easy. This is somebody that you knew and you obviously screwed it up with. And if you screw it up with, more than likely it means that she would never set a date with you or cancel dates or blew you off. So if you've exchanged numbers again, I mean at this point if it didn't work out, I would do nothing. I mean, if the girl really likes you, she'll get in touch with you. She'll send you an email. If she wants something to happen, she'll make something happen. Whether it's just calling you to, and she's saying, hey, I was just calling to say hey. Which is, what she's basically doing is just trying to create an encounter to where maybe you'll do something. Ask her out on a date or whatever. But if you never hear from her, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even bother calling or following up with it. Because it's just not worth it. Because if you've already lowered her interest level before, the only way you're going to change perception is just really not giving a shit. And she knows you like her. And the only thing that would be different to her is this time, unlike all the other times you met in the past, you didn't seem to give a shit. You're not chasing her. And that communicates that either you're taken or you've lost interest, you're not available. And so if there's any kind of hope you have, she will send you an, an email or she'll message you on Facebook or she'll send you a text or she'll call you just to call for the hell of it. And so if you hear from her, make a definite date. Now back to this other one that's basically grilling you or hey, you're just trying to get into her pants. You could have given her that impression. You could have been aggressive at points in the evening. But the key is, just like the title of this video is, is to go with the flow. And one of one of the guys I learned from years and years ago, he, what he says is, go with the flow and diffuse with humor. That's always a great fallback position. So if someone's grilling you, it's just, you never want to, love isn't serious, it's fun, it's playful, it's meant to have a good time. So if a girl is, you know, giving you a hard time or you, and she's trying to get you, you got to get her to talk. What, what do you mean? What are you getting at? Am I just trying to get in your pants? Why would you say that? Answer a question with a, a question. Trying to get in your pants? What do you mean? What, why, would, why would you say that? And let her talk. And I would say things to her as far as the relationship things. Hey, are you just trying to get in my pants? Yeah. Just be honest with her. Just say, we just, we just met. I really like you. I have a lot of fun with you. And I have a good time when we hang out. We laugh. And you know, obviously we have a connection. And I just, you know, I don't want to complicate things. I just, which, you know, I don't want to complicate things. The word complicate, I'm, I'm sure if you've dated women long enough, probably some of them, and you've screwed up with them in the past, some of them have said, don't complicate things. I, I know years ago when I, when I was younger and I didn't have a fucking clue what I was doing, I used to hear that all the time. And so now that I know the things I know, I say some of the same things to women, especially if they're trying to push things a little further than I'm ready to go. 
And so you just say, hey, you know, I don't want to complicate things. I just love hanging out, and I, you know, I want to get get to know you, and just let the chemistry and and the moment of the evening take us wherever it's going to go. I just let's just have fun and enjoy each other, and see where it goes from there. And like I was saying earlier, it's the key to ask questions. So a woman asks you a question, it's like it's kind of like the shit, you know. Like I say a, a lot, is that you're James Bond 90% of the time, and 10% of the time you're the kid that flushed the M80 down the toilet at school and, and blew up the sewer pipes. So that that's a good way to go about it, to either throw it back in her, in her lap with a question or diffuse with humor. Say things like, what do you mean? I don't understand. Explain, explain where, you, you know, where are you coming from? What do you mean by that? Saying things like that, getting her to explain what it is and just be James Bond's never never gets upset with a chick he's he's always got a you know shit eating grin just like that movie Qu uh, Quantum Sauce the first one he did Casino Royale the part where he's he's meeting that woman who he just won the Jaguar from and it was her husband actually and the guy's a real bad guy so he sees her outside and he he, he looks at her and he invites her for a drink and you know of course she's married and she says she looks at him and she laughs and she says, it's been a long time since I've been back. And James Bond gives her that look, kind of like the kid that you know did something he shouldn't have done, but doesn't really give a fuck because it was cool at the time. And he says, well, maybe you're just a little out of practice with that a look, just like I said it there, looking into her eyes. And she looks at him like, just you can start to see the irritation or the, oh, the, how dare you? And a weak guy would go, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean anything by it, you know, I just thought you were real pretty. That's how a weak guy would approach it. But what does he do? He just stands there with the, you know, that look on his face. And then after about a half a second or a second, it's a test, a test of his strength. He's totally dead serious when he says it. And he he's, wants to have a good time and have some fun. He's like the kid that flushed the M80 down the toilet. He's charming, he's mischievous, he's a good-looking guy. She throws her head back and she hops in the car. They drive around the circle. And they go back to his room and then so he gets busy. So if you find these messages good and of value to you and they help you, consider making a donation to my work. Anytime you, I share something with you or you read an article or you read my ebook, or listen to one of my audio tracks or watch a video and you think, man, that, that really helped me, Corey. I, I, God, it just opened. It just totally cleared things up. It's it just like all the light bulbs went off in my head. When those kinds of things happen, you think, dude, that's a great nugget. Throw me a buck, $5, $20, whatever. The key is for you to donate whatever you feel it's worth. And if you're not going to donate, at least share the page with, with your friends or family. And if you have any questions, you want to ask me a question, you can go right to the bottom of the page. There's a the Facebook commenting system is there. Make a comment, give me several days, and I'll answer your comment right in there. If you want to send me an email and ask a question, the email address to send a questions to is, is right on this page also. And if you want to donate, just hit the little PayPal donate button, which is on the Wibia bar down at the bottom. It's on the right-hand uh, side of the screen. And I will talk to you soon.